Hey campers, what's up? It's Yana. Welcome to day 15 of Camp Nanorama July 2020 and I have done nothing today. And I don't just mean writing, I mean I've done nothing. I took a nap. I think that's been the biggest accomplishment of the day. So at the moment I'm like super late for my weekly shut up and write group. So I'm going to log into the meeting now, even though I've missed like a good chunk of it and hope that that wakes me up a little bit and makes me productive because not, not so much because I need to be super productive but more because I'm getting a headache because I've been rolling in bed all day and it just doesn't feel good so let's go okay so this is our writing hour now started and you can see that I really need to clean up my desktop um, so we'll be back to chatting in an hour and I'm supposed to start writing now but I think what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to very quickly pop to the shop and see if I can find some decaf coffee and trick my brain into thinking that it's getting caffeine. <laughs> we'll see if that works. So let's go to the shop. Have you guys experienced the trouble of masks and glasses? Because this is not okay. It's always pretty funny. I can't see anything. I either have to like remove them completely or put them like way down here. <laughs> like on the very tip of my nose. Okay, anyway, let's go to the shop. Hey, we're back with coffee. Fake coffee, yay. And just for the record, this... I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the amount of coffee flavor, not even real coffee, but coffee flavor that I can tolerate. I mean, it's ba basically slightly coffee flavored milk. It's like about 94% milk in there. But anyway, the only point of this is to make my head think that it's drinking coffee so okay so a good chunk of our writing hour is already gone um but hmm, i can still get down to business and write anything the problem is i can't actually choose what scene i want to write this is the issue with this puzzle writing or non-sequential writing because if I was doing the scenes in order, I would just be writing whatever scene came next. But because I'm picking scenes that are like at different points in the story, this means that I sometimes get a little bit picky. There are certain scenes that I know that I have to write and that like I know what happens in them, but I'm like, mm, Maybe I'm not inspired enough for that. Maybe I should grab a different one and then this happens and I'm not writing. I was thinking, however, though, that for the first time in many, many years yesterday, as I was sitting and writing my scene... Oh, I didn't give you an update on yesterday. Hey, I wrote something. We're still on track. That's the update. Update over. But yesterday, while I was writing my scene, for the first time in many years, I felt the same way as I felt when I was writing my first novel many, many years ago when I was a teenager. Um, and that's the one that got published. And since then, the way that I write and the way that I feel when I write has changed a lot. So it was really strange to kind of almost be th thrown back in time and get that same feeling. It's very difficult to describe. I think it's because this story is not, like, the plot is not in any way similar to what I was writing then, but there are some other similarities. For example, it's it's kind of a journey sort of story where there are lots of different places and I'm also coming up with lots of different creatures and animals and that story had those too and I'm coming up with different magical or semi-magical items so it's a lot of just running your imagination run wild rather than structuring and 
planning, the structuring and planning is going to have to happen very soon. I mean, I've done some of it, uh, but it's just a very like free writing sort of situation. And yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, it felt like a good thing because I just felt like a kid again. Um, I was just taken back there where, you know, writing was so exciting because you're so young and you're going to be world famous. I, yeah, I, I never, like, I never thought that I would, you know, publish that book and be world famous. But, but still, you know, some book in the future. <laughs> so, yeah. Gosh, I should really choose a scene and write, shouldn't I? Okay, okay. Let's get to, let's get to work, right? <laughs> this is one of my least favorite things where I need some minor characters to just serve a purpose, but I don't like creating characters that are very obviously only there to like say certain things and feel a certain stereotype like I need somebody here to be doubting the main characters and just you know be a foil in the conversation and it can't be one of the other main characters in the moment so uh I don't I don't like making them just pawns. But then it would be so much work to try to develop that character and make them serve another function as well. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know what, maybe sometimes I'm just gonna count on the character to figure themselves out because they do that sometimes. I'm just gonna I'm gonna write this conversation now and sometimes sometimes some of these minor characters pop back in and are like actually this is the person I am and this is what I do and this is how I'm interesting so fingers crossed that's gonna happen hmm let's see I can already tell this is gonna need so much editing but it's something I'm getting the information in there it's just that right now it's mostly dialogue and for some of the lines I'm not even sure who says them because there's a whole bunch of people there and it's kind of like a lot of them are just like a random crowd of people so people out of the crowd are speaking and I'm mm, I'm almost not bothering with speech tags for half of them. I'm gonna have to figure it out. I'm gonna have to figure it out soon, like tomorrow or the day after, because I don't like leaving scenes, scenes like that. Mm. I've also slightly not written myself into a corner, but I've created an issue because What's happening right now is making some characters look really, really bad. As in, why did they not predict that this was gonna happen? And it's literally their job to make sure that this sort of thing doesn't happen. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to write it so that it isn't that much their fault because right now it just doesn't look good. Okay, we got it. That's it. I think I'm done for the day. 
As I mentioned, I had a few little issues, but on the positive side, I ended up kind of transitioning from the scene I was writing into a different scene, which actually turned out really cool and really interesting. And I stopped it at a place where I know I can easily pick it back up, so I'll have something to write tomorrow. And also, it's really exciting because I am somewhere where I get to invent cool stuff that they're going to take with them and use. And I like inventing magical gadgets and things like that. So, yeah, that, sh that, should, that should make my life a little bit easier tomorrow. I'm slightly late joining back into the chat with my writing group, so I'm gonna do that now. But thank you guys for keeping me company today. This was very random and rambly. Actually, I it was probably more like an actual vlog. I don't usually do actual vlogs. I just talk to you about things. But this was you just watching me trying to write today. So thanks for the company. Let me know how your day went. Let me know if you've had any of the problems I had today with trying to not procrastinate so much and writing yourself into corners and dealing with minor characters that you didn't want to use as tools and all of that. I talked about so many different things today. I don't even know what to ask you, but if you have any thoughts at all, as usual, leave them in the comments. Again, thanks very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye!